It could all have been so different for Rafat Bayat. With just days to go until Iran's presidential elections, her campaign to succeed Mahmoud Ahmadinejad should have been in full swing. Instead, she watches from the sidelines. The optimism of her registration day last month dashed by Iran's powerful Guardian Council, the group of clerics and lawyers which decided that she and the other 41 women who applied were not fit to stand for president. Even though she is a conservative, she believes the council has become too extreme. I feel that they've gone too far. Their attitude towards women goes against the views of the supreme leader, Imam Khomeini. This is the 12-man Guardian Council appointed jointly by the supreme leader and the country's top judge. In the 30 years since the revolution, it has increasingly restricted access to female candidates and reformers in elections, frustrating attempts to broaden their role in public life. Many see the Guardian Council not as a safeguard for religion, but as an obstacle to freedom. But despite the criticism, its spokesman says it applies the law fairly. The law doesn't discriminate, and neither does the Guardian Council. As far as the presidency is concerned, women can register as men can, and our vetting process is the same for both. Iranian women now make up more than half of graduates at the country's top universities. Many of them believe that this social change will eventually usher in political and constitutional changes. But growing numbers of women, though, feel that they have waited long enough for equality. Nasrin Sotude is a human rights lawyer. In a legal system, she says, restricts women. She told me many of her female clients are in jail for actions which in other countries would not be judged criminal. She says that before the Guardian Council changes its views, there are more fundamental inequalities in Iran that need to be addressed. Men and women aren't equal before the law. Men are allowed many wives. They get different punishments for murder, and in the courtroom, a man's testimony is worth twice that of a woman. The law says girls are responsible at nine, boys at 15. These are the most important issues. Many in Iran feel that change should not be forced, that it will happen gradually. But there are those like Nassim Sotudeh, who believe change will only come through confronting inequality. As Iran chooses its next president, many women here will vote for the man they believe can best bring about that change. Ali Reza Ronabi, Al Jazeera, Tehran.